Actress Hedy Lamarr created an invention that changed communications. This is why the Navy rejected it during World War II. As an actress who achieved fame during Hollywood's golden age, Hedy Lamarr's acting credits have been largely forgotten outside the realm of film buffs. But as an inventor, Lamarr changed the way Americans today interact and consume information. Along with a composer named George Antheil, Lamarr developed the technological concept of frequency hopping to address a crucial problem faced by the Allies during World War II. At the time, German U-boats were consistently jamming the signals of torpedoes that targeted their submarines, rendering them ineffective. Lamar and Antheil solved that problem via a secret communication system of radio-controlled torpedoes, the precursor to what we now know as Bluetooth. But when Lamar and Antheil initially brought the technology before the U.S. Navy, the service responded with a hard no. While her pairing with Antheil seemed odd at first glance, especially in a scientific setting, a closer look reveals otherwise. Indeed, Lamar and Antheil shared an immigrant's mindset. Lamar, who was Jewish, was born Hedwig Eva Maria Kiesler on November 9, 1914, in Vienna, and Aunt Heil was the son of German immigrants. They were deeply affected after the Germans sank the SS city of Benares, a British passenger ship, in September 1940, killing 262 people including 87 children. An eagerness to see the Nazis defeated also was ingrained in both of them. And they both possessed curious minds and, perhaps most importantly, shared a basic knowledge of munitions. Lamar accrued hers during the first of her six marriages, to Fritz Mandel, a pro-fascist arms dealer unflatteringly called Austria's Merchant of Death. Although it was an unhappy union, Mandel allowed Lamar to attend but not speak during business meetings, some including German military leaders. The information gleaned in those settings proved invaluable to Lamar, as did Ant Heil's previous experience as an inspector of artillery ammunition at a U.S. armory. Lamar first met Ant Heil at a dinner party in 1940, and it was not long before the discussion turned to inventions and defeating the Nazis. Lamar described a system where torpedo control would be synchronized, but she didn't have the technical expertise to make that happen. That's where Antheil came in, he had been familiar with synchronization for years, dating to the 1920s when he unsuccessfully tried to sync 16 pianos for a musical composition called Ballet Mécanique. Along with composer George Antheil, Hedy Lamar was granted a patent, which was later revoked, for a transformative technology known as frequency hopping. Their collaboration resulted in a device, roughly the size of a pocket watch, that would allow a signal, instead of traveling over a single wavelength to its destination, to hop between dozens of frequencies, thereby eliminating the possibility of jamming. In essence, a nearly infinite number of devices can operate within a range of frequencies and never interfere with one another, because they are constantly, minutely, and dynamically changing the frequencies on which they are operating, an article in Naval History magazine explained. A patent was issued in August 1942. The Navy not only was not interested, but it also classified the design as top secret and seized Lamar's patent, considering her an alien with ties to a foreign adversarial power. The U.S. military even condescendingly suggested to Lamar that she could best help the Allies' mission by showing her beautiful face during USO appearances and using it to help sell war bonds. Despite the sting from the Navy's rejection, Lamar raised millions of dollars for the war effort. When we began making this film, some scientists said to me, she was probably a spy. She probably stole this invention from the Nazis and brought it to the Allies as a spy. And we just don't realize it now. But doesn't that make a lot more sense to you than this movie star coming up with this incredible invention? Alexandra Dean, director of the documentary Bombshell, The Hedy Lamar Story, the Navy finally smartened up during the Cold War, when the service employed the technology in its ship's communication systems during the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. And now look at where Lamar and Ant Heil's invention has gone. It's everywhere. Also known as spread spectrum, frequency hopping is a foundational piece of so many wireless communications, including Bluetooth, cell phones, Wi-Fi and GPS, among other technologies. Lamar died in 2000 at the age of 85, and she and Ant Heil were inducted posthumously into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2014.